Hello everyone, welcome back to the 8th video of the SciPy Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate functions using SciPy. So over here, we'll be integrating this integral, this definite integral over here. So the function is sin x and the lower bound is 0 and the upper bound is pi over 2 and this integral is equal to 1. Okay, so we'll be using this as our practice problem. So first we need to import math and then we also have to import the function that will integrate sin x. So we'll have to import the sub package scipy dot integrate. All right. And then from this sub package, we need to import a function that is called quad. So quad allows us to do single integration or just very simple definite integration okay so first we need to define the function to integrate so define fx okay and then this will return the sign value of x okay so next we'll integrate this function so what we'll do is just create a variable called result and then we'll use the quad function so quad so the quad function takes three arguments the first argument is the mathematical function so in this case it's just f next is the next argument is the low bound which is zero and the last argument is the upper bound and then we'll just print out the result. Okay, so here we get two values. So the first value is the answer. So it's the value of the definite integral. So it's very close to the value one, which is the answer. Uh, maybe due to some error, it's a little off, but uh, yeah, it's more, it's equal to one. And then the second value is the estimate of the absolute error of the calculation over here. So yeah, it just shows us the error of the calculation. And what we can do is that we can take result and we can use unpacking. So area and error. Okay, and then what we'll do is that we'll just print out the area and then we also print out the error and you can see that the area is equal to one and then this is the error over here it's an estimate of the absolute error okay so now let's perform double integration using scipy so here we need to import a function called dbl quad or double quad. So this function will be used for double integration. So the first thing is that we need to again define our mathematical function. So define f x comma y. And then we'll return maybe x squared plus y squared. Okay, so this is going to be our function. So this is actually a three-dimensional function where we have x, y, and z axes. Okay, so next we will integrate it. So we'll just take area and error equal to dbl quad. Okay, so this time instead of three arguments, we have five arguments. The first argument is the mathematical function. So in this case, it's just f. The next two arguments is the bounds, is the lower bound and upper bound for x. So let's say it will be minus uh, 5 and 5. All right, so this is going to be the lower bound and the upper bound for x. And we also need to set the lower bound and upper bound for y. So in this case, let's just make it minus 10 and 10. Okay, so 
next we'll just print out the results okay now let's print out the error so in this case the error is the area is 8333 and this is the estimate of the absolute error okay so let's just change this to 10 okay so this is the value over here so yeah this is how you perform double integration so if you have let's say three axes axes there which is x y and z then you can simply use the double quad function to integrate that okay we can also perform integration in scipy with functions that have more than two arguments so to do that we'll have to use the n quad function so let's define a function which takes in three numbers so x y and z and it'll just return the product of x y and z okay and then we'll integrate this so i'll just create a variable result and error n quad so the first argument will be the function so i'll just put in f and the second argument will be a list of ranges so brackets square brackets for the list and then we'll have to put in the lower bound for x and the upper bound for x so let's make it 0 and 2 for y let's make it minus 2 to 0 and for z let's make it 1 the lower bound will be 1 and the upper bound will be 2 okay so in this case the result the definite integral is equal to negative 6 and this is the absolute error over here if i change it to let's say 1 you can see that the answer is negative 1.5 so yeah that's how you perform integration in scipy if you like this video then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video